Hi guys, welcome back. Hey, um, so I have this little mess here. What a mess I have, but I thought what the heck, I will turn the video camera on and we, we just do a little craft with me thing. So I uh, <laughs> haven't been able to be in my studio that much lately because I'm working on the property and there's no time. So I got some time today, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, so here I am with this mess scattered out everywhere. Like I haven't been able to be out here, so I lay stuff out and then psh, I'm gone and then I come back and then I'm gone. And psh, so anyway, I have some things laid out and I'm gonna work on them. So here's what we're gonna do. Last time we were together, we worked on a, um, a book cover or a signature cover, a signature cover. I should move this all the way for a second, just a second there. So all it is, is this. So I'm gonna take some of the elements off of it. I've just stacked things on here, kind of the way of three, three more that I'm going to work on. So move those out of the way and move that out of the way and then I'll put it back together so you can see. So this is scrapbook paper that I folded in half and then when it's together as a signature, it'll be like that. So these pockets, it's gonna look funny because I flip them out like that. Oh, and before, um, I, do, I do all the sewing on the pockets and on the front cover and then I cover this back with music page or something, something, something. I think you've done that with me before. So anyway, hopefully this isn't freaking the camera out. I'm gonna lay this open like that and hope you can see that. Yikes, bring all this mess back here. Um, 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 and then that's gonna go with that. And hopefully that's all in frame. So I have a few things I'm working on. I'll be just kind of doing, we'll just kind of be doing it together. So let's see, where was I? So I was getting this pocket ready. I have this inked and it's going to be, it's gonna look upside down to you because this will fold up and then it won't be upside down anymore. But I will be punching a pocket here and then stitching around, I think, on this one. That's how we did, nope, not this one. It was a different one we did. That's okay, that's okay. So this one has to be done too, but I've already put the uh, music page on the inside. So I just need to do the outside of the pockets. So don't want to forget to do that. But the front, the front is finished. Did I show, say that? Front's finished. There we go. So, so without further ado, I'm just gonna set this up here so that I can get these ready, this one ready to be folded. This one, this one, this one I think I'll work over there. I'll just need to ink that. So this guy is ready. I'm just gonna fold it over. Anyway, watch me fumble around. What has everyone been up to? It just, it's been forever, forever. What a crazy spring. Woo, man. All kinds of crazy weather all over the country, all around here. Flooding and snowstorms. I, th I tell you, I, you can tell my, you, you can tell my age by I think about the weather all the time, because uh, that directly affects what I'm going to be doing. It, um, is it gonna rain? Is it gonna rain? It, is it gonna snow? What's it gonna do? That depends on what I'm going to get to do. So I'm very focused on that. I'm just gonna trim the corners off here. You're probably not gonna learn a darn thing today, um, but I appreciate you hanging out with me. I really, really do. And, um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, we're just gonna do it. So that, I'm just gonna do a few pockets here. That one is ready. I'm going to ink this. And I actually, I'm not going to make you watch every, I think I'm, uh, I'm probably not in frame. Watch every little step. So I'll be pausing it along the way. And you know, if you're, 
like I always say, if you're not interested in hearing me yak on and on, hi Lola, um, please fast forward or just mute it. <laughs> you're not gonna hurt my feelings. Honest, you're not gonna hurt my feelings. I'm just like, oh, just the way it is. That's okay with me. I'm gonna dump this in my garbage. Set that over there for a second and do this. So I made this little thing here. I don't know if you can see it. I'll move this for a second. But see this? This is just a piece of fabric and then I got some of that because I don't have a craft store here. I don't have a craft store where I craft craft store where I can buy one of those cool crafting boards. And my table is glass. So you can just see right through it and it reflects, which this is doing also. But anyway, I I just went to Walmart, which I never go to Walmart, but I did. And I picked up this plastic um, sheeting. It's, it's just, I think it's something you just put over picnic tables or something. Anyway, it was super inexpensive, 74 cents. Then I had this fabric and then underneath it, I used um, like this non, I just stick shit together and use this, you know, stuff that you put in the drawers so that things don't slide. So, you know, it's not going to hold up to if I were using an X-Acto knife or something like that on it, but hopefully it'll take the shine off and hopefully it's just, just a little nicer to look at than, than my dirty table. So that's that, and honestly, I'm not even really sure if this is going to record because I don't have a lot of um, space on my iPad. I need I need a computer really bad, but I need a pump on the well, as you know, working on the property. We got uh, a permit for the address today. Oh, my goodness, I tell you, there's just so much to do all the time when you're developing property. I have been to planning and I've been to, D had a meeting with DEQ and I had a meeting with our power company to find out if we have enough power or if we need to upgrade the transformer. <laughs> and then I met with the guy that's putting in the septic system which could happen any time now but there was an issue when I went to get the septic permit to install the septic system I needed an address they would not give me a permit unless I had an address well this is land that's just been vacant and not used for as long as I can remember for at least absolutely no doubt in my mind that I've it's been you know, like 40 years since anything has happened to it. So anyway, so we couldn't move forward without an address. I'm gonna go ahead and stitch this together and just be doing random stuff. So just bear with me. Um, this is a long thread, very long thread, but I wanna get these guys stitched together. So all I have here is a piece of this fabric. Where is that? Where's that fabric? Where to put it? I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Well, it's here somewhere. I'll find it for you and show you. Anyway, a piece of fabric and then some uh, real thin linen that's tea dyed, a chunk of lace, and a couple of buttons. And I just tacked them on with a little bit of glue to get them started. So then I can stitch these together. So where was I going with that? Anyway, we could not get we could not install our septic system. We got approval from DEQ, but the county is the one that says, oh yeah, you can go ahead and do that. Once, you know, DEQ says you can do that. I tell you, it's one thing after another. They're all, and nobody knows what anybody else is doing. So there's like 15 different offices you have to go to. That might be a little bit of an exaggeration. Um, and they're all across town. Once in the town over and fill out this form and pay that fee and then they tell you oh well oh, sorry you don't have an address you have to have an address 
So that's another agency that is Public Works, County Public Works, not City Public Works, County Public Works. So you pay them to come out. People have been driving into this property for all these years, but you pay them um, $190 to come out and tell you if you actually have road access to your property. Well, guess what? We do. And it, it only took them three days, which I, I was pretty happy with because they said, you know, this could take up to, to 10 days, which seems like everything is 10 days or two weeks or I, I might have messed this up a little bit. Um, takes forever. Takes forever. But they got it done in three days and I'm very happy with them. I have zero complaints. Super thrilled. I don't know what that is in there. I grabbed a little thread along the way. So yay, but okay, so that's just the address permit. Now that I have the address permit, now I go back to county planning and I submit my permit. Then that goes to someone, I'm not really even sure who, and they decide what the address is going to be. The street isn't gonna change. Nothing's gonna change except the actual address. So anyway, you might be wondering why I'm doing this. We've, we've done so much of this stuff before that I probably should, should tell you what I'm doing, but I think you know what I'm doing. Um, anyway, so next week I'll go down and hit all those different agencies. Oh, at the same time, because I cannot get the subject permit until I have an address, I'll be submitting the form for approval for the address. Then I will submit the form for the permit for the septic system and DEQ, the paperwork that from DEQ that says, yep, we're good to go. You can do this. And then, I don't know how long we wait. Then we wait, then we wait. And then once that's done, hallelujah, and we get our septic system in, or no, then then I then my septic guy can get started. And that's gonna be a long process because it's goes, it spreads almost between the tank and the drain field and all that. It goes across almost what is that? Like at least two acres. Like so the land is like squarish squarish and we have a little shop right here and then so the drain fields clear over here so there'll be a tank and then there'll be all this anyway it's anyway it's gonna be huge it's gonna make a giant mess too but I am not 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 complaining am I complaining <laughs> maybe maybe a little everything takes so long but so then, also, I met with the power company and to fill out all these forms to tell them how much power I needed for the property. Well, apparently, obviously this is U.S., the standard anymore is 400 amps for a home because there are so many electronic things that people use now, all kinds of things. You know, whether it's security systems or computer systems or whatever it is, you need 400 amps. So, so I filled out my forms and I paid $600 for them to come out. I'm very poor right now. To come out and tell me what I needed for my home. Which makes no sense because they made me fill out the form to tell them what I needed. And I didn't know anything about single phase and amps and ohms and all those things. But I did my research and I found out. So then they come out and spend two hours, I kid you not, standing in the rain saying, Well, I'm not sure if this transformer is going to work. We might have to upgrade this transformer. So what are you really going to do here? I'm like, I... I just told you it's on the form we are we are going to eventually build a house here for now we're just building the shop 
hooking up our uh, pump for our well and then oh then a pump for the septic system because it's so far away we have to pump it because of we could build in a different spot but I like this spot so we're gonna that's what we're gonna do so two hours later then he finally says well I'll just send you a form so you can tell me how much load you're gonna use ouch I just stuck out my finger how much load you're going to use, this is boring, I know this is boring, but I, I need to vent somewhere. How much load you're going to use where? Like, for example, we're upgrading this shop that was built in 1960. It has power, has power, but it's, it's what they used to call farm drop. So it's like not a ton of power, it's like just enough to run the basics. I think probably 200 amps. Which is really, actually, our home now runs on 140 amps, plus our guest house. Plenty, plenty, plenty of power. Anyway, so now I have to fill out a form that tells him exactly where I'm going to have plug-ins and lights on a building that we don't even, on the existing shop, and then the home that we don't have built yet. Just so that, so that, for whatever reason, because that's what they decided they wanted. But I haven't heard back from him. That was Tuesday. It was Tuesday. And we need the power. So, what I have decided I'm going to do is just call the electrician and say, Danny, here's the deal. Which, he's a super smart guy and he'll totally have it handled. And he'll put our panel in. And if we have to put in another, if we have to put in a new transformer, we have to put in a new transformer. We have no choice. So, so that's, that's it. That's it. I hope we don't have to put in a transformer because that's like $3,000. And I, I really, really, really have better things to spend $3,000 on than a transformer. So, there you have it. We'll see. To be continued. To be continued. It's insane. It's just the whole thing is insane. Once we get past these little, little humps and bumps in the road, then we can keep moving on. In the meantime, by this thread, <laughs> it's really giving me trouble. It's because my thread's so long. Don't, it, don't have such a long bit of thread. I just had a bunch that was on the bobbin. The thread was not very good thread and it was messing with my machine, so I pulled it off the bottom and that's why I have such a long bit of thread here. But, there that. Anyway, in the meantime, so we're working on getting the ponds all ready, getting everything, all the water distributed, distributed, <laughs> distributed correctly because the whole system has been neglected for no less than 30 years. And um, we need to make sure that the water goes where it's supposed to go and not where it's not supposed to go. And in the meantime, we have little goslings. Well, not yet. We still have geese with their um, nests all over. So we'll have some little goslings pretty soon. So we have to be really super careful not to disturb them. And um, so that they're little. And we have a, they're right in our way. Of course, they make their nest like right in the way. So we're kind of just working around them so that, um, so it's, I don't know how long it takes. I read that for some larger birds, it can be up to 35 days before they hatch. And even then, they're going to be tiny little things. I don't know if they, if we can. I mean, do they just automatically, it, once they hatch, are they out of the nest? Like literally out of the nest and in the pond? I don't, I've never paid attention to that. That's terrible. It's not like, you know, they're nursing or anything. They need to get out there and, and eat some bugs. Anyway, waiting for them. I'm excited to see them all. There are four nests. One has six eggs. One has five eggs, one has, 
uh, five eggs. So, so there's two with five eggs, two with six eggs. And I say that, and then I think one left with four, I get kind of confused because at one point there was an egg just laying right up on the edge of the pond. I'm like, oh no, what do I do? And I had my gloves on, so I gently picked up the egg, very, very gently, and put it over close to the nest. And by the next, I don't know, next time I went out there, they had got the, scooted that little egg right into the main nest. Mama had just, or dad, I don't know which one, because I didn't see him, just scooted that right on into the nest. How it got out of the nest, or if it was ever in the nest, I don't know. Don't know for sure. So, anyway. They're slow in our progress down a tiny bit, but there is so much to do. Let's see, we got several trees down. We have to take two, quite a few trees down, which really breaks my heart because I love them. They're really big, really, really big pine trees. And they're just, they're just pine, you know, but they're about, some of them are over 200, whoops, 200 feet tall. And so we're taking them slowly, a few down here and there, because where we extend the shop and where we build the house, we have to have them taken out. And I have the sweetest guy that's been cutting them down, climbing them, and then having to take some down in sections, and then falling them. And then I clean up the brush and get it, which is a lot. It's a lot. For four trees, it took me two days working very, very hard to um, get all that brush up and in a pile so that we can burn that before burn season is over. I know you guys are thrilled to hear about all this. I just know it. So between that and clearing like all the blackberries and trying to deal with poison oak and ga geese and goslings and lots of rain, lots of rain. I'm we're so grateful, so grateful. I, I can't, I don't even know how long it's been since we've had this much rain. A very, very long time. We need it really bad. So Lost Creek Reservoir, which is the kind of not at the head of the Rogue River, but up towards the mouth of the Rogue River. We live on the Rogue River. Um, they are almost a capacity. So we had a huge rainstorm. We got four inches of rain in two days. That is seriously unheard of. So, um, so consequently our ponds are very full, <laughs> very full. There's water everywhere. But it's super exciting because for two years it has been nothing but wildfires here and I am hoping and I am praying that this amount of rain that we've had will, it's kind of a catch 22 because it's, it's going to create a lot of fresh new growth which once summer hits it that then turns into fuel for potential wildfires. However, however, we have some great, our, our reservoirs are nice and full. Our lakes are full. Crater Lake got a ton of snow this year. I, I wanna say 200 inches. And that is so great. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Allergies, allergies have been terrible. Anyway, so that's great. It's great. Um, and hopefully, you know, wildfires this summer. I don't know if I could take another summer. I just don't know. Just don't know if I can do it. I. It's not like I have a choice, but I really don't want to. I really don't want to. The smoke is awful. 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 Okay, you can't see what I'm doing in the distance, so I'm going to... Pull these forward just a little bit. Let me tie a knot in this again, so you can kind of see the three cover three that I have spread out here. That back in there, so I don't poke it through my arm. Okay, 
So currently this is the one that I'll be putting together next. Move those scissors. So that's the back, that's the front. This will flip and that's those will be the inside pockets and you'll see that. Then, whoops, then this is the other one. These are the pockets and this is kind of sort of the layout. That's what I've been working on right there. And we'll, we'll get into that definitely more as we go along. And then this is the other one. And I'm going to bring this one a little bit forward because oh, I need to score. Oh, things are falling. Things are falling. I need to score the pockets. And I don't have this image finished. This is the image I'm going to use. I just have some bits of paper glued to the back. And then I'm going to kind of peel those off and just leave little, even littler bits of paper. I better move it over here. I stay in frame. I don't know where frame it. Anyway. Oh, there we go. So that's my saga. That's my saga. You heard my saga. How's that? Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad yet. So, I never get any time out here anymore, it seems. Which is frustrating to me. Because I love to be out here. But I also love, love, love that we're getting our our property already and I get to dream about how um, how my studio will be how that's gonna work out how I don't know how our house is gonna be but we'll see we will see I don't I'm, we're not really sure if we're gonna go ahead and put our house on the market like right away or wait, the, the goal really was to put it on the market by next, by next summer. And, and I don't know, we, we, we may just kind of stop a little bit and take a minute. I just, I just want this stressed a little bit more under here. Take a minute and kind of just get this on the market and, and get it sold and then ta-da we're done we can just we can just work on we can just work on that and instead of trying to take care of two places plus rescue the rescue's been extremely busy extremely busy yeah that's okay um yeah so i don't know we'll see we keep kind of going back and forth on what we should do let me see. Do I like that? I'm not sure if I like that. What do you think? I think that probably because this is so monochromatic. So, oh wow. Wait, I need a bigger. This needs to be bigger. It's too small. This one is too small. Too small. Let's see. I probably have another piece somewhere. Maybe right. Nope. Nope. I'm looking. Sorry, I'm digging around in my stuff over here. Hang on one second. I had a piece, but it was over by my big cutting board. Uh, I don't know. I'm all over the map here. Yeah, I think I need to take that piece off just because. Because it's also, like I said, square. Everything's square or rectangular and not just... It's just only one little, one little bit of roundness. So, so there you have it. We'll see what happens, because I sure would like to have more time. But, oh God, I don't know why I say that, because if, if in fact we decide to put this house on the market before we go forward, that's a lot of work. Because we will kind of have temporary, once this, house sells will just have kind of temporary living situation because of um shoot let go uh because 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 we'll probably live in our little shop and our little rv while we build the house we just have to see just have to try and see what happens oh no oh no 
doesn't mean, so I guess what I'm saying is it doesn't mean I'll have more time in the studio if we make that executive decision. So. So. Hmm. <laughs> okay, let me mark this and trim this piece. I've lost my pencil. Okay, enough about me. Enough about my stuff. Enough, enough. <sighs> What's going on in your world? What's new? What's fun? What's fun? I guess you're not going to talk back. Or are you talking back? <laughs> Maybe you are. You might be talking back, and I'm just not, uh, not, uh, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Speak up. I'm going to just use this little slicer dicer here. Lay it on top of my work. And backwards. I can't see. Oh, gosh, a lot of people are on spring break right now. This one's so different. Um, let's see. Oh, Oregon was last week. But this is U.S. This is West Coast. Um, and <laughs> in case I, I forgot to mention that. And uh, California is next week, which I thought they were last week because the college kids were back. A lot of the college kids were here. The college kids that are, that I know of that are, you know, at Berkeley or wherever, they were here like over a week, like two weeks ago. Anyway, so spring break, so vacations, not for me this year. Almost, almost, almost went camping this weekend, but decided against it. Against my better judgment, I decided to stay home because I'm going to go down south next month to see the grandkids. Super excited about that. Very, very excited to see them and see where they've been living and what's been going on with them if they're still there they could could be moving again i think i've talked about this before my son-in-law is a lineman and he is in outside construction and um what that means is they're building this big power power grid that's going it's they're down in southern california east of la working on a very large transmission uh, line that's going across the US. Anyway, so he's been on that job for a while and he likes it. He likes it. They love it. My daughter loves the palm trees. This is a girl that grew up in Oregon. Um, but she's loving it. She's really enjoying it. And the, of course the kids love it. It's warm. It's not like like um, southern Oregon in the winter that is you know, it's kind of chilly here, as you know. Rain, 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 go away. But, 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 there, I think that will work. Where'd that other little button go? Oh, here it is. There it is. Right there. Yep. Then I think I'll have it stitch a little tab on here, too. So, yeah. I don't know where that sheet of fabric went. I swear I had it just moments ago. Oh, here it is. This is the bits of fabric I used. It's a, um, it was a sample for drapery, a drapery sample, and I scored it. Okay, so let's go ahead. That one is laid out. So I'll move that out of the way. This one is laid out and has its pockets. This one, this one, you can't see it. Can you see it? This one is laid out-ish. It keeps moving around. And I just need to do its pockets. That's the little button up there. Everything's so samey-samey. I don't have time to be creative. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, such is my world. Such is my world. No time. No time. Anyway, I was going to go camping, but decided I couldn't leave my husband to do all this work all by himself this weekend. That wouldn't be, that would not be fair. 
so I'm sad because the girls all went and my friend and her daughter and her children, they're young, they're, her daughter and my daughter went to school together, besties since the third grade. And so their girls kind of got, are, well, they're kids, I shouldn't say. I shouldn't say they're girls. My youngest daughter has three children and my friend's daughter has two children, two girls. Anyway, they're all very close in age between, let's see, wow, seven and five. No, seven and four. Can you hear the train? Hear the train? Seven and four. So they love, they're wonderful. They're wonderful. I, I, I love them so much. So much fun to spend time with them. And uh, I just want to give this a little, little rubbiness. So that's that. That is that. We'll see if this video turns out. I might listen to myself for about ten and a half seconds and go, uh, yeah, no, Julie, you need to just, just stop what you're doing. Have a plan. Don't just make people sit there and watch you struggle through what you struggle through. There's no sense in that. No sense in that. So which way is that? Oh, that's up. Okay. This one, this one, that one, and that one. This paper came out of a paper pack. Eek. I guess I should have had that together. Uh, it was not, it surprises me because it's really, I like it. It's a pretty good weight. It's probably about 65 pounds, 65 pound weight, more or less. I don't know why the trains are running. It's odd. Odd time of day for the trains to be running on a Friday, Friday afternoon. Anyway, maybe because the price of gasoline went up, everybody's sending everything by train. We don't have passenger trains here. Um, anyway, I'm not sure, but uh, if I remember, I will get that paper pad over here. Because I like, I really like it, and I think I would buy it again. It was not, not a super duper expensive one. Um, so, anyway. Anyway, anyway, so I was, what I was saying about, what I was saying about, about my daughter, um, my youngest daughter, um, going to visit them in Southern California next month. So I kind of feel like I really shouldn't be, you know, especially since the price of gas went up, driving my motorhome all over the place. When I want to have a little spending money when I go down there. So. So, and I stay home. I'll stay home. I'll stay home. I'll help. I'll be, do my job. Do my part. Okay. Oops, I still have two more. Forgetting all these other pockets. They have two sides. Two sides to them. Oh, and my oldest grandson has a birthday this week. Tuesday. Tuesday. My word. He's going to be 14. I just got his card sent out to him and it just, just today. Wow, I cannot believe it. Where does the time go? Where does it go? I don't know where it goes. I mean, years fly by. Years. And the kids just grow, they just keep growing up. Oh. Oh. Unbelievable that I have two grandchildren that are teenagers. Well, actually that's not two. Yes, it is. No, no. Yep, 13, 13 and 15. The two oldest boys, 13 and 15. Insane, insane. Well, almost 13. So it still has a little bit to go. A couple, uh, just about a month. Just about a month. Okay, there and there. 
That's the other side, that's the other side, that's the other side. Oh, where's the other, I'm, I'm missing one. Oops, oops, sorry, I'm missing one. I have two here? What the heck? Two, one, two, oh, Dirk. Okay, let's go up there with that other one. <sighs> okay, let's score these guys. Should I just put some music on and stop talking? <laughs> put some music on. I gotta move some stuff here because my paper clips are in the way. Urk. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, I probably should just put music on. I like to work with music on. But can you hear the geese? Hear the geese out there? Oh, so I'm just going um, two two eighths or two. Let's see, one, two, three. Two eighths or one quarter <laughs> inch. Okay, that one's scored. Hi, Tycoon. Do not get your face up here. One, two. Hi, buddy. What's going on out there? Just keep through the dog door. I think all three of them are in here. Yep, all three of them are in here. He was just out enjoying a little sunshine. Now it's time for their afternoon nap. That one. Um, oh gosh, there should, should be something really fun I could talk about, like instead of about me, because it's just not all about me. Sometimes I think it is, and it's just not. But I have no idea what's really going on in the world. I've been so busy, I have no idea what's going on in the world. Other than, you know, the snowstorms in Colorado. Hey, Nick, how are you doing out there? Gosh, terrible. That is just terrible. And I think, where's Gail? Isn't Gail in Montana? Are you, are you in Montana? I don't know. Snow, seriously. Seriously, it's April. No snow. We don't want no snow in April. I just want to... I have two extra ones. I'm trying to figure that out. Did I forget to, how I'm counting? Hey, buddy, stop doing that. Take care. Stop. Oh, it's going it the wrong way. Hello. You're doing it wrong. Hmm. Yeah, snowstorms. Snowstorms in April. Uh, I guess, well, it's supposed to be like April showers, right? I don't know where these are going to go, but I'm going to go ahead and score them since I'm scoring. Weird. I think they go in the other. I have another one that I'm working on, so. <laughs> Always have a few in the works here. Scattered about. Scattered about this mess. There we go. Okay, these are all, I'm gonna leave this here because this is a little, no, no, maybe I'll move it. Put it over there on my cutting board. See what happens. Yeah, no, I want it over here. Never mind. scratch that. The, um, this little thing is, has, because it's fabric, it has some give to it, which is good for some things and not good for other things. Like when you want to really get that, really get that score line going with these little, I call them glue wings. I think in sewing they're called, I, are they gussets? Is that a gusset? Is that a gusset like when you put a pocket on in sewing? I'm going to have to look that up because I can't, I don't know. Not really sure. Anyway. I call them glue wings because then it, I, I like to have a, a little bit of room in my pockets because I tend to make a lot of tags a lot use and use a lot of ephemera. So 
I like to have room in the pockets. And if I want to put a little notebook in there or something, which actually I want to make a little notebook. I'm going to make a little notebook for this one. Just a tiny one. Just like a little one that go in one of these pockets. Okay. Ta-da. Ta-da, ta-da. Did I do these? Did those. Ta-da. Did I actually fold those? No, I didn't. I don't know why I'm not um, trimming them at the same time, too. Boy, that's not very good. I have to look that up. What is it, guys? Tell me what it is. Tell me about the rest of your spring plans. Oh, I miss not having a garden this year. No time for a garden. It's breaking my heart. How about you? Are you planting a garden this year? With lots of fresh vegetables for this summer and fresh flowers. I have I have a lot of flowers. Oh my goodness, my clematis is bursting, absolutely bursting with blooms, bursting. And my uh, wisteria is starting to bloom out. I I love flowers. I absolutely love flowers. I love being out in the yard. I love my garden. So, anyway. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. And I kept working, but um, my husband called because he just got off work and he wanted to let me know that he, uh, he'll probably call like five times because he's going by the store on his way home. So hopefully he won't interrupt me five times, but he might, because he usually does. That that's kind of his mo. What do you? What about? Uh, what about? What about? Like, just whatever. Whatever you think is fine with me. I trust you. Well, not really. It comes to colors or. <laughs> this is a good story. This is a funny story. We repainted our utility room. <laughs> Got it all done and it was just looking great. We did not repaint the ceiling because it was fine. There was one little mark up on this up at the top of the ceiling. One itty bitty bitty little mark. And I go off about my business after we're done and it really that little little tiny little scuff mark up there really bothered my husband just apparently as I come back and he goes don't worry hon as I my back I just could not do the ceiling he's like I went ahead and you know pat, did those spots on the ceiling I'm like you did I, I didn't think we had that color I thought we needed to get that color he goes nope I found that color I look up at the ceiling you did not that is not the same color it is absolutely not the same color he's colorblind which I know and he knows, but he goes off on these things thinking he knows what he's doing and he doesn't <laughs> and it just cracks me up. So I'm like, well, now you have to paint the whole ceiling, <laughs> the whole ceiling. It hasn't been done. That was like, wh whoops, that was like two months ago. <laughs> oh God. I said, okay. All right. All right. Hannah, when we do this house, you know, you know not to pick colors. Okay, okay, okay. So we had the roof re replaced on the shop because the roof on the shop was shot. It was gone, it was done. And he was dealing with a guy that did the roof because it was an old shake roof, rotten. So rotten, so bad, it was leaking inside. We couldn't deal with the power, which which kind of brings me back to what, you know, the whole power thing. I don't want that there. I want it back over here, but it keeps clicking and making a noise every time I smack on it. Um, anyway, I said, just do the same, you know, the same roofing tiles that we used on our house and on, on the guest house. Just use that. It's kind of, I think it's called sand straw or something. Anyway, it's brown. It's clearly brown. I come home one day and the roof is half done. 
guess what color the tiles are. Just guess. Just guess. Charcoal. Charcoal. You guessed it. Charcoal. How? 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 How could they have made that mistake? He's like, well, the guys at the building supply recommend... No, not, not my husband. The contractor. They said this was the most popular color. So I just went with it. I'm like, it's not brown. It's not brown. It's not tan. It's charcoal. Charcoal. We live in the woods, not on Cape Cod. Oh, for the love of Pete. So now I'm stuck with it. There's nothing I can do about it. You can't, you can't paint asphalt shingles. You can't fix that. You just can't fix that. I tell you. I tell you. Okay. Well, so I'm going to go ahead and finish hanging these up. Yeah, that fun little story. Charcoal roof, that's going to drive me crazy forever. <laughs> Finish inking these up, and then I'm going to stitch them together. So, we talked about this before, and again, I know I'm not teaching you anything, but I probably should, probably should mention a couple of things. So, when I go to stitch these things all together on the cover... Da, 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 da. Um, let me move this out of the way. Wait a minute, what's going on here? There's two there. So I have this whole extra set. Oh yeah, it goes with those. Never mind. It goes with the other one. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, so when I go to stitch these on the cover, I want to do that. I think I mentioned that. I want to do that before... I put the music paper on the back and but however having said that also I will want to get get this stitched on here like I'll do the I'll kind of probably just do around that mm, I won't I won't do this part because I'm gonna have a little pocket right here but I'll come down to about right there with stitching and then start again there with stitching and go around and then you'll see it'll attach everything then I'll hand stitch this piece on and where's my other one here it is this piece on with a little bit of glue then that'll be done then the pocket what I want to do is whoops that's in my way in my way so I'm gonna do a little punch out right under here I need to find the center of that and do that welcome to my world this is how my brain works it it's like all over the map so can you see this I'm not sure if you can see this so center of this and I'll explain a few things later 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 there we go that's right about center that's two and oh no 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 it's not there we go, right, right about there. Right about there. I have my ruler upside down. Or in, upside down and inside out. Stop. My glue stick is falling over. So I'm going to punch that. I'm going to actually punch both of them, but I'll do this one first. Where's my punch? I'm just going to use a two and a half, two and a half inch punch, and I'm going to use this kind of as a guide because I want them to kind of follow, you know, kind of be the same, same-ish, but a little itty bitty, bitty bit deeper. Does that look about right? That looks right. So there, yeah. Question is... Yep, that is actually, ooh. Hmm. Think, think, think. I'm thinking I want that a little bit, a little bit narrower than that. Shoot. You know what that means. That means, that means I'm going to have to tear this one and re-ink this. That, put it back where you got it so I don't have to look for it. This will just take a sec, I promise. 
promise. Okay, where's top? That's the top. I think I'll take it off the bottom because there's nothing like super spectacular on the bottom here. Which means I have to use all eight of them. Lordy. Yeah, that's okay, I think. Let's try that again. Throw some ink on it. And I will do that off camera. I always say I'm gonna do it off off camera and then I then I forget. I just keep just keep going and going and going. Yeah. So, um, anyway, so what I'll do is I'll stitch around this guy, and then I'll also stitch around, mm, I have to think about that. Yeah, I'll actually stitch this way, and that way. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. That's it. Okay, so pause, I'm gonna go ahead and stitch these things together re um, tear these little guys and get everybody punched and I'll be back so hang on I gotta reach up here okay so it occurred to me at the last minute as I'm doing this that um, I didn't explain what I was gonna do next and so so I thought I would um, kind of sort of kind of sort of explain that to you so I have them all all four Four of the signature co covers, covers, whatever you want to call them, um, kind of together. I just am ready to go to the sewing machine. But what I didn't explain, and I thought kind of maybe it was a little bit important, was that I put a little tiny bit of glue underneath each one of these layers so that I know that when I get to the machine, they're not going to be all wonky. So I just use a little bit of Fabri-Tac and um, tack them together. Then I know they're not going to be all weird. And um, then, you know, I stitch around them, just stitch around them the way I want to. And then I stitch them on the cover because I might want a pocket here. I might want a pocket over here or, you know, a slide or whatever. So that's that. And um, then these little guys just get set aside because they're ready to roll, then these will get set aside as well. And then I just tacked this on just a little bit because I'm going to stitch around, stitch around those. And then the other thing that I, I failed to mention was on the inside after, you know, obviously I'm gonna put that music paper on here because there's one of them that already has it. Um, that you kind of sort of saw. So this in here will not matter that that, that looks kind of white there because it will have music paper underneath it. However, I wanted you to see that the way I, I because it can get kind of thick in the middle, right here in the middle with everything with the, you know, the paper inside of them. Like here's a group that I have ready, <clears throat> excuse me, that's going to go in here. Well, this gets really thick right here, right right in here. And so to avoid that, um, or, or at least help with that, I guess it's not avoiding it, <laughs> but to kind of help with that is I just do a, a little slit um, at an angle, a little wider at the top and then narrower as I get to the bottom. And then I do the same thing on the outside edge. I just trim that off just a little tiny bit so that, because when you fold this, they want to stick out. And, you know, you don't, I don't want them to stick out. So that's what I do. So that's just a little trick I do. I don't know if it really matters to you or not. But I thought I would share that before I got these all stitched together. <laughs> and then you're like, well, you know, you could have told me how you did that. So... There you go, that's that. I am going to head on over to the machine and get these guys together. And then we'll be back. We'll be back and do some more. Thanks guys, hang on. Okay, here we are, all stitched together. Um, it was pretty easy, so 
you know, you don't have to sew these on. You can just glue them on. It's just something that I wanted to do with this one. And <laughs> I just want to remind you that I'm not the expert. And I, there, I really don't believe there are any rules in um, making junk journals or memory journals or whatever you want to call them. I love junk journal. But anyway, um, so I just went ahead and stitched around the edges and then I switched up the thread because as it would happen I ran out of this thread but I kind of like this gold so I might I might do a little bit more I don't know that I need to maybe a little gold thread on on these when hmm you know when I'm stitching the other little these little bits back on that might be kind of cool to just add a little bit of a little bit of that I think it might be okay and so and I have to decide also also if um, if I want to take all the threads off well I'm gonna think about that a little bit and and try and decide so, yeah, I don't, I'm not sure. So what I'm going to do next is, like this one, I put the music pages on the inside. And so I'm going to do that to the others. And they'll be ready, kind of ready to put together a little bit more. I just can't really decide about that gold thread, though. This kind of is kind of a little bit hokey, but what are you going to do? This has another one. I don't know how to do it, but oh, there it is. There it is. So I don't know. You know, they're kind of monochromatic. They're kind of boring. And whoopsie, I dropped it on my lap. You know, you know, you know. Maybe I like that over here more. I don't know. I don't know. So, okay. I don't know how the camera is doing, but. There's this one, and then I'm gonna end up putting words on it, uh, some something, memoirs or treasures or travels or something like that on each signature, something different, so that each one, because they're, they're just very seamy, seamy. So, um, so that one, take that off, flip that together that one as you've seen and then this one and there's a lot of fun I think dimension in it with the you know the background um, book pages dictionary pages kind of stuck behind that vellum and the different bits of scrapbook paper and I really feel I, I like this is a little bit you know it's a little bit beefier and I kind of like that so and then I also need to decide whether I'm going to round the corners. Not sure if I'm going to round corners or not. Because then I would want to round corners in each one of my signatures as well. I have to think about that. So just really quickly, each signature has... And I, yeah, I'm not completely finished with what I want to put in them. Obviously, I have gazillions of tags to make and... But I may add a few more pages. So some Edith Holden and then um, a little bit of Sumi paper, rice paper, uh, and just a lot of tea dyed paper with a, a, a few bits of scrapbook paper that are um, backed with tea dyed just to give them a little more beef so that um, when I add like a heavier pocket, then it'll hold that pocket better and it won't be so won't be so tough. So this is pretty boring, just the basic innards of each one. Except that there's only one that will have like kind of a beefier pocket in it. The rest of them have all kinds of pockets, but you'll see. We'll do it. We'll do it together. So thanks a lot guys for hanging out with me. <laughs> Putting up with my, you know, crazy property development stuff and grandkids and the weather and me trying to make decisions on all these things. Um, but it's been fun. 
it's I, I've had a great time being able to be out here today and I look forward to doing it again again like really soon but we'll see hopefully anyway you guys have a great rest of the day the rest of the evening and thanks for um, subscribing thanks for giving me a thumbs up and if you don't like it give me a thumbs down it's okay it's okay I'm not like you know obviously I'm not like a star uh, tutorial maker or anything <laughs> anyway God bless you guys you have a great 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 rest of the day thanks bye I get my sweatshirt out of the way